There we go. Perfect. What is going on guys? It's Armada. Welcome back to the channel and I I know you guys really enjoyed that last Q&A. Uh, I love you guys so much for leaving so much likes on that. Um, it's not really a lot of likes. I think it was like 11. But it doesn't matter. I, it's a lot to me. But today's video is actually very... People that don't, don't play zombies, leave. <laughs> because you guys will be very confused. By the way, I am recording this video with no pants. I don't know why I needed to tell you that. I need to cut my hair. It's been a while since I've done face cams, but okay, I'll stop talking now. The Call of Duty World War II has just been leaked by PCs in the open beta like about 24 hours ago, and it's super, super, what was I gonna say? It has so much information inside of it, so let me just warn you guys. There is spoilers in this video, but not just yet. I'll warn you guys when the spoilers are actually coming. Like I told you, the PC of the open beta has been leaked out everywhere. There's so much stuff on it. This happens every year when Call of Duty comes out. They always leak the, the multiplayer, they always leak the zombies, they always try to leak as much as things as possible, and this one was very, very big. But instead of ignoring these leaks, they actually put out two screenshots for what they leaked. So first, the people that leaked it, they actually leaked out a game mode, a new uplink mode that is called Read Iron. And it's basically like a new uplink, but in World War II, and they leaked that out. But instead of them ignoring it, they actually sent this out and gave us two screenshots. So one of the developers of Call of Duty World War II has said this. Call of Duty World War II has been in development for over three years, and we're now less than a month before launch. We can't wait for our fans to experience it on November 3rd. With the betas, there's always the risk that some people will try to spoil the experience for others. We had a couple things leaked recently, multiplayer and zombies. It's disappointing for everyone involved in creating the game, but in the spirit of transparency, we want to be upfront about it. Some details are inaccurate, early or, or still subject to change. Others we would consider spoilers. We never planned for leaks, but we also understand that it's hard for fans not to read the news when it's about something they are so excited to learn more about. So they have said that and everyone is so excited I and gave us two screenshots. The first one is of a new London map, and the second one is that the uplink game mode of a screenshot. Now they never done this, which is kind of surprising. All right, so now we are getting into spoiler territory. That is only the part of multiplayer. They only spoiled a little bit for multiplayer, which is the uplink thing, but for zombies, they spoiled a bunch of it now let me just say this is a spoiler warning so you have been warned to click on this video and it's not so bad but it definitely has spoilers in it and unfortunately i have to read it um i never like spoilers i don't like spoilers i hate it when someone tells me a spoiler of a freaking movie or something i, I just know, know i will kill, kill you, you. Alright, so the first one we actually got is the map name for Call of Duty World War II Zombies. And it's a pretty cool name. I kind of like this name. It's, it's not Attack of the Radioactive Thing. So, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> the name is the Final Reich for the map, which sounds pretty cool. There's I can't really go in depth with the name of the map, but I imagine the name and it sounds pretty dang cool. Now the next thing I'm going to be telling you is actually the power-ups. Now, now power-ups I mean by the double points and stuff like that. They leaked out the names and they leaked out a couple new power-ups that are gonna be in the World War II zombies. And the double points power-up is gonna be called Electromagnet. But Electromagnet I actually kinda like. It makes sense because, you know, magnet and you get double points. I don't think they get it. Oh my god, why are you still here? Alright, but the next power-up is actually insta-kill. 
And they actually renamed Insta-Kill to Reaper Strike, which sounds pretty dang cool. They named the nuke Eclipse, which that one sounds devastating, but I think the other ones they just kept it now. Now for the new ones, this one's actually from EXO's and it's called Security. And I would say that Security is not so good because what basically Security does is that it activates every single trap in the map and it sounds cool but it can actually be pretty dang dangerous because if you're training in some room and you get security then you're stuck in that room with the trap and you cannot leave because god knows what's on the other side but the other power up is actually called full meter and this is actually a new one and it and actually powers up your ultimate and and it just gives you your power up depending on what class you have so yeah that's actually all of the power up the new names and the new power up. next we're actually gonna go up on the classes for the characters and just classes you can just choose. The first class that we got is Offense. Now, Offense Ultimate is basically to do a free fire even when you have no ammo. It's just unlimited ammo, which I talked about. <sighs> which I talked about on a video before, but yes, that's the Offense Ultimate move. Another class is Control, and their ability is gonna be called Shell Shock, and basically it just releases some bomb thing and all the zombies just freeze or it does a little bit damage but it basically protects you and it stuns the zombies and they can't move or something like that. For the support class their ultimate is actually going to be called front line. I'm reading this by this little notepad so don't mind if I keep looking down. So basically what the front line does is basically all the zombies follow you and which having support might be a little bit useless for solo player because you're the only one. But if you're playing with other people, then this can actually be useful to help save your teammates because all the zombies are only following you. Plus it also comes with extra damage to the zombies. So that's pretty cool. For the medic class, they actually have this ultimate called camouflage. It does what it basically sounds. The zombies can't see you because you're in this camouflage mode and you can basically walk among the zombies. And I'm pretty sure this is actually really good for the medic because when your friends are down, you can use the ultimate and revive your friend. And for our final class we got, it's called Fury and basically it increases your melee attack and you just get a hit them and get critical hits all the time for any weak zombie. And if you guys are not a fan of the classes, don't worry, they also have this other class, which is not a class, and you can just play classically, and there's no classes in it. That was actually all the little classes for our characters. Now we're going to be talking about the perks and their names and what they do. So I'm pretty sure they only added one perk in this. So what's pretty interesting about the perks is that they all end with the word blitz. I don't know why, I don't know what that blitz means, probably in a different language. But for double tap, the name of double tap is actually called Kug Blitz or Kugo Blitz, I don't know. Electric Cherry is called Shield Blitz. For Jug, it's called Hell Blitz. Slaffy Taffy, which is an, another one from Infinite Warfare, which basically just increases your hit damage. It's called False Blitz. I don't know. I'm not really good with the names. Quick Revive is called Leminvit. Leminvit. Levin Bleed. Blitz, I, I don't. Stamina is called Lavin Blitz. And the new perk, which is called Armor, and it's called Panzer Blitz. So I'm just going to assume that you guys know all the other perks except for the Armor perk. And basically what the Armor perk does is that it's basically like another jug. It gives you more health and it's a less chance that you'll get in red screen. And every time you buy it, every time you get down, it disappears. And when you go buy another one, the money just increases more. And they said that's because of the fact that you're going to die sometime and they want to, you know, 
they, they can't make it the same amount of money every time. So I can respect the Panzer Blitz perk. Pre-order, it's such a cool game from what I see. I never tried it. I tried the beta and let me just say it was probably my favorite multiplayer. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you found it informative in any way, please leave a dislike. No, I'm just joking. I'm um, leave a like. And if I see you hit the dislike, I I will find you. And I will kill you. But seriously, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe because it lets me know that you guys enjoy this topic this this type of content. And if you guys are even more curious on what I could do. I also have a Twitter, a Twitch, an Instagram that I've been posting on since probably a long time ago. I will see you. Peace. I'm gonna go put on pants.